everyone is Sherry. I hope that you are having a wonderful day. Y'all, I have such an awesomely sweet project for us. Stay tuned. channel. I am so glad that you decided to stop by and welcome to all of my new friends and all of my new subscribers. Welcome back to all of my longtime friends and longtime subscribers. I really do appreciate the support that you show to my channel every single day. Thank you guys so much. Today we are going to be making what I have in this box here. Graduations are fast approaching and we all like to give gift cards every now and then. So I am going to share with you a very delightful way to give a gift card. So I'll show you what's in the box in just a minute, but y'all know what time it is. It's time to make it. So here's a closer look at the box that holds our beautiful little project for today. I wanted to make sure that we had something cute to present today's project in. So we are going to make this little box as well. And what I like about this box is that it opens at the top and it opens at the bottom. I'm going to take out today's project and you'll be able to see the top of it. And then our box is a flat fold. So if you needed to make up a bunch of these boxes and store them flat, you can. So I'll go ahead and close the bottom of this box because here is what it's all about. I know people will tell you it's all about the hokey pokey, but it's not. It's all about finding fun ways to present gift cards. We all give them or we might want to even give cash. Well, this is going to be such a cute way of doing that. What I have is a mini gift card book. And when it's opened, it'll sit just like this. So we'll have one, two, three, four slots to be able to place our gift cards. Or if you wanted to place cash, you most certainly can. So if you know someone who's graduating, moving into the first home, getting married, having a baby, maybe it's an anniversary or a birthday, and you want to give an assortment of gift cards, this is a very elegant upscale way to go. I'll just give you a quick flip through look of how this actually looks. Now I could have decorated each one of my pages. I chose not to because I don't know who I'm giving this to yet. But once I figure that out, then I'll go back and add something to the front of this that is more relevant to that person that I'll be giving it to. So I don't have any gift cards, but I am going to bring in a couple of my personal cards and we're just going to put these in so that you'll see how it works. So you can see that I have one card here. I have one card here. I can add two more cards or I can add some cash or if I wanted to, I can create a little personal tag and just tuck that on the inside as well. So easy peasy but just so stinking cute. And I know that you guys are going to be able to find many, many uses for this project. So here's what we're going to need to make it. So I will be using chipboard to make the book portion of this project. And this chipboard is from my stash and it's a medium weight chipboard. If you don't have a medium weight chipboard, but let's say you have some shoe boxes, you can cut those into these dimensions, or you can take some cereal boxes or food boxes and cut them down to the dimensions as well. And this is also a fine project. If you have cardboard, it'll work on this project as well. So we're going to have two pieces that measure three by four. I will have two pieces of decorative lightweight paper, and this will measure 12 by three and three quarters. And then I have a nine by eight piece, and this will be for the jacket of the book. And then I have my box piece and this measures seven and a quarter by nine. And this is a medium weight cardstock. Medium to heavy weight cardstock is probably what you should use whenever you're making a box. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and place down our chipboard. Now I have already added double stick tape to the back of my three by four chipboard piece. And when I put it down, I'm going to leave myself a little border here at the bottom so you can see that I have about a one inch border at the bottom. We'll go ahead and put down that second piece. And when I put the second piece down, I am going to put the second piece down with about a quarter of an inch 
spacing between the two. And now I'm just going to take this and just stand it up and position it into a fold on all four sides. So now that I have it like this, wherever I have my corners, I will be making some notches. So there's one, I'll go to this corner, I'll angle in this direction, and then when I cut across this way, it's going to be a very, very light cut. So that's going to look like that. We'll do the same thing down here at the bottom. And the same thing with this one. And now we just need to angle this piece. So your piece should look like this right now. So I am going to take some double-sided tape. And this is the one-inch tape. You can use a wider tape if you want. And we're just going to lay down some strips of tape. And we're covering the chipboard. And then I'll take some of my tape and I'm just going to place it on this wide overhang piece. And I'll place a piece here as well. So now let's just smooth this out. Remove the tape backer from the chipboard piece. And so now we're going to take these end pieces here, fold them in, just like that. And now I'm just going to take a little bit of my tape runner and add some tape to that piece. So I'll stand it up. We'll fold that over. And now we can peel away the tape backer from this piece and we're going to be doing a wraparound. So the wraparound method will take care of the need for a liner piece because we'll be wrapping that liner over and all we're going to do is just take this and fold it over. And if you have any hanging over the edge, which I do have a little bit, I am just going to trim that away. And now I can go back with my big old spatula. I'm going to make sure that I have my spine very well defined. And then I'll stand it up and I'm just going to take each end and rub it against my desk. And then I'll take my big old spatula, go along each end, and then I'll go along the spine itself to get that nice book look. And you can see that we have a sweet little book here. So now I'll set the book to the side, bring in my scoreboard, and I'll bring in the two pieces that measure three and three quarters by 12. And we are going to score on the 12 inch side every two and three quarters of an inch. So we'll start at two and three quarters. Next score is at five and a half. Next score will be eight and a quarter. Final score will be 11. And we do this on both. So we're going to score at two and three quarters. Five and a half, eight and a quarter, and 11. So now we're going to take this and we're just going to accordion fold, starting with this piece. So we want this piece to be facing out and we're just going to accordion fold. And then we repeat it with the second piece. So we have that end flap, which is one inch, we fold that out and then we just accordion fold. And so now we're going to have two pieces 
that look like this. One thing that I forgot to mention is that we are going to need to join these two pieces. So we'll have these two pieces and we want to join them with a scrap piece that measures two by three and three quarters folded in half. And so we'll take this piece and we will just join these two pieces together so that we can have one continuous accordion fold. So I am going to bring in my glue and I'm going to place my glue on this piece so that I can join my two pieces together. So I'll take one piece and place it here like that. And then I'll take this other half and we'll place it here like that. So what we want is just one continuous accordion folded piece. And I'll just use my big old spatula. And so now we have our accordion folded pieces. So what we're going to do now is take the first piece and we'll add some glue along this edge and along the bottom, just a very thin bead. And then we'll close it. And I'll take my big old spatula just to make sure that we have it nice and stuck. So there's one pocket and we just go across doing that. So we're going to take our glue, place some glue here and along the bottom and we close it. And we just get it nice and stuck. You just want to make sure that you are not sticking this piece down because that is what we will attach to the actual book itself. So let's go across, add our glue to one side, and then along the bottom, and we close it. I'm gonna open this so that I can make sure that we have a nice stick. And now we can do the last one. I'll add my glue. Make sure I've got the bottom oriented. And I'll add glue on the bottom. I had to make sure that I had the bottom oriented properly because I had flipped it. And y'all know me, I will turn something upside down in a minute. And so now we have the four pockets for our book with our little attachment tabs here. So now what I want to do is create a little notch in the opening. So I'm just going to lay it flat and I am just going to cut out a V. And that way, whoever gets this will know that the gift card can be removed by just sticking your finger in that little notch. And so now you can see my nice little notch. I am going to take my glue and when I place the glue down, I am just going to go ahead and make an initial line and I'll place glue on that side of the line. Do the same thing here. And the reason why I'm doing that is because I really don't want to glue down the pockets. I just want to glue these flaps. So when I take this piece and I put it down, I'm going to be taking the center of the four pockets and I'll place that center right in the center of my spine. And then I'll lay everything down just like that. And so now you're able to see just how cute this is. Now, in my previous book, I used the same pattern throughout. So I didn't have this separation here between this pattern and this pattern. It was all the same. So I'm not a fan of how this looks. So if you're using contrasting patterns, you can go back and either take some of this scrap or this scrap to cover it. 
I think I'm going to just keep some of this scrap and cover that. So I'm hoping that I'll have enough scrap left. I am going to cut two pieces that are two and seven eighths by three and three quarters because that's just how long that happens to be. So it really does depend on the scraps that you have. If you don't have enough scrap to cover it, I could have covered it by placing down that grate. But I think that I want to try to place this like that. And then this one over here. So I am just going to add some tape to this piece. take this piece and we're just going to put it down so that we are covering the flap and now we have what looks like a very nice lined book do the same thing with this one so all I did was add some tape to the back and I'm going to take this piece and we're just going to put it down, which finishes that off beautifully. When I originally started this one, I hadn't planned on placing that down, but I didn't like that incomplete look. So I went ahead and placed down my liner pieces. And that is the beauty of crafting. You can change it however you want whenever you want to suit you. So now we have our little book and all that's left to the book is decorating and decorating is totally up to you. But what I have decided to do is I have this little piece of ephemera that says a thing of beauty. I am going to place it on the front. And I'm just going to add some glue to the back. I'll take this piece and I'm going to put it right there, get that nice and stuck. And now I'll open the inside and I want to place something right here. So I have another one of the Think Happy, Be Happy pieces of ephemera. And I'm just going to place a little bit of glue on that. I'm going to stick it down on this gray paper, like that. And I'll just bring in my trimmer and we'll trim out our border. Now I can take this piece, add some tape to the back. And we'll place that piece right there. And then I have this piece that says, enjoy life. I'm going to do the same thing with it. We're going to place it down on a little bit of that gray. I'll add my glue. Get this placed. Trim out. Now I can take a little bit of my glue or tape, whichever one you want to use, add it to the back. And we'll take this one and we're going to place it right there in the middle. A lot of you have questions about the glue that I use. The glue that I use, as most of you know, is reptile adhesive. I have been using it about two years now. I absolutely love it. And I don't use any other adhesive but reptile. So I get a lot of questions asking for recommendations on other adhesives. What reptile is the adhesive that I use? So here's our book. We are now able to place our cards in these little holders here. Isn't this just delightful and so stinking cute and easy? 
we're going to make a very quick box for this so that we will have something nice to present it in. All right, so we're going to take that piece that measures seven and a quarter by nine, and on the nine inch side, we're going to score this at half an inch, at three and three quarters, at four and three quarters, and at eight. Then we're going to rotate it to the seven and a quarter inch side score at half an inch and at one and a half. Rotate it to the opposite seven and a quarter inch side, score at half an inch and at one and a half. Then we're simply going to fold and burnish all of our scores. And then once your scores are all folded and burnished, you're going to have this narrow strip and it will have two corner pieces at both ends that you need to get rid of. So I'm removing both. So there are those two. And now we'll remove these two. So basically everything that we do on one end, we're going to do it on the other end. So now we're going to go up and everywhere that we have a score mark, we're going to go to the second score mark to free the tabs. And so we'll do the same thing on this end. And now I'm just going to fold this in and I'm going to reduce my tabs. And then I'm going to angle these tabs in just a little bit. We'll do the same thing over here. And now I'll fold these in, we'll reduce, reduce, angle, 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 and angle. And so now your piece should look like this. So the panels that are next to the glue flap, these are the pieces that we are going to angle in on both and then I'll take my glue place some glue on these flaps and then we're just going to fold them in and out of the way and so now I'm going to take my scissors and I am just going to round this little half an inch piece like that. And I'll do this on both sides. And then I'll also do it here at the bottom. And this is just giving me a nice rounded fold in tab. And so now my piece is going to look like this. This is the glue flap. So we are going to take our glue, place glue on the glue flap, and then we just join it to this end, just making sure that we have our scores aligned. And now we're able to lay it down flat and get that glue stuck. And so now I have a nice little flat fold box that I can fold up and tuck in to use whenever I am ready. Now I'm just going to unfold it because I want to place just a little bit of decoration on it. So I have these nice blue rose stickers and I am just going to peel them. I'm going to place one right there and just burnish that in to where the sticker outline is almost invisible. You can see it faintly, but not a lot. So then I'm going to take one more, which is this one. I'm going to take this one, and this time I'm going to place it right in there, but I want it going around that um, corner just a little bit. So now I'll just burnish that one in. 
And now we have a beautiful box for our beautiful gift card holder. So you can see how that is a beautiful match and complement to our little gift card holder. We're going to place that on the inside, close it, and if you want it to seal it so it couldn't be opened until you were ready for it to be opened, you can place another one of these little stickers across the top and the bottom just to complete that decorative look. I am just going to take that out and open it so that y'all can see just how gorgeous this is. We'll bring this one back in so that you can see both of these. And y'all look at all of that gorgeousness. You saw how easy these were to make. And I can see these, like I said, being so multifunctional. You're only limited by your imagination when you're crafting. So modify the sizes, make this even larger than I made it. Make it taller or add more pockets to the inside. Completely up to you, but you see how sweet it really, really is. So guys, I hope that you have enjoyed today's super awesome way to give gift cards. If you have, please hit the like button. If you're not a subscriber to my channel, I would love to have you join this amazing online crafting family. You guys, as always, please be safe, be kind, be the reason someone smiles today. Happy crafting, and we'll chat later. Bye.